In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use Canva to create compelling, irresistible book covers that are gonna sell like crazy. Canva is one of my favorite tools on the World Wide Web. And welcome to the wide world of web. Today's segment, online dating. And it's what I used to make two of my book covers. This one right here was a number one bestseller in its category on Amazon. I'm gonna take you inside my Canva. I'm gonna show you exactly how to do a book cover and I'm gonna give you some pointers to make sure that your book cover is the bomb.com. Com. I want to give you something that is a great compliment to this video. It's my five-step guide to writing your first number one best-selling book and hopefully first of many. My first book was a number one bestseller in its category on Amazon. So I want to help you do that. LaneSebring.com slash five steps. It's my free five-step guide to writing your number one best-selling book. And I'm going to put that in your hands for free. All right, let's go ahead and get started. This was my first book. It was about preaching because I have a whole business over on the information superhighway. <laughs> I keep saying that. It's called Preaching Donkey. I help pastors, because I am a pastor, I help pastors write and deliver messages that are compelling and life-changing. So I do online courses, but I've also done books. I've done two books. One is called Preaching Killer Sermons, and the other one, which I will show you, is called Become a Preaching Ninja. Now, this is inside of Canva. All of these pieces are just part of Canva. And so I'm going to go, I'm going to undo. Okay, good. Uh, but these are just, that's just text. And I'm just going to undo that and it will go back. Okay, there we go. Um, but this, this is just a piece here and I've put all these things into place and just I'm just showing you this because I'm showing you this is an actual like project. Now I want to say I have no experience on Photoshop. I don't know anything about Illustrator or any of those uh, tools like that. The, the thing about Canva is it's so unbelievably easy that if you just if you know how to use a computer you can use Canva. <laughs> it's so like so simple. And so I wanna give you a few kind of principles to keep in mind as you're designing your book cover. The first thing I wanna do is on Kindle Direct Publishing, they actually give you the parameters for your book cover. You can find this in the description below, I'll have it linked. But basically there's like the file type, it has to be a PDF, okay? So we're gonna export it from Canva as a PDF. It has to be, uh, it can't be larger than 650 millibytes. It can't be larger than 650 megabytes. They actually recommend less than 40 megabytes. But anyway, in terms of deciding how large to make it, you can use their calculator, which is right here. In order to determine what size to make it, you can download the calculator and it's gonna walk you through a few steps of you know how many pages do you have in your book and how uh, large is it? So for this, just for context, this book right here is 206 pages and it's 5.25 by eight. So 5.25 inches across and eight inches tall or long. And so that's what I'm dealing with here. And so what they want you to do is they want you to have this over here is the front cover. Because if you think about it, what you're looking at is basically this. Okay, that's what you're seeing on the screen. And so uh, this over here is the front cover. This is the spine. And this that's really important because when it sits on a shelf, people are going to see the title and your name. And you want that to be really good. And then, of course, over here is the back cover copy which is pretty vital when it comes to selling a book. So this was my process. When I started this project, I wanted to make my book stand out from other books in my niche, but I also wanted it to look like what most best-selling books looked like at the time on Amazon in the Christian living, Christian ministry market. And at that time, this book was published in 2016, so this is now five years ago. But it's, it's still very similar now. It's actually stuck around this look. But a pretty solid background, okay? So I just selected a green background and I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a copy of this down here so that I can play around with this. So I'm gonna go ahead and just delete everything that's on here so that I can show you some things. So this is my finished product, but this is where I started. And I did a couple of things. One. I put a green background and this was a green that was 
most directly related to my branding. Okay, it was my branding color. But then if you look, you can see this little effect that's happening. And that was just a little effect that I stuck on there using a tool like on background. Started out looking something like that and then I changed the color and so on and, and so forth. And then what I did is I went over here and I said, okay, the first thing we wanna do is look at my title. And when you're designing a cover, your title is so vital. Your title is vital <laughs> because if people are searching this, they're mostly doing it on Amazon. And it's gonna be like, it's gonna be like very small. It's gonna be like this, okay? And it's gonna be in a sea of other little titles like that, other little covers. So if you have a really big image and a teensy little title, then it's gonna be very difficult for people to see the book and connect with it. So I wanted it to be like crystal clear what the book was. No diggity doubt in anybody's mind, it's this book. The subtitle is the promise of the book. So the, the title is supposed to be somewhat of a hook, okay? That, that's where you hook people in with this intrigue, right? Preaching killer sermons is meant to be intriguing. But then the promise is the subtitle, how to create and deliver messages that captivate and inspire. That's what the book is going to do. I found this little icon over here just by searching. I think I searched preaching and they have all these all these different things and I found like an icon like that. Okay, that would have been one I could have used. All right. And you just literally take it and you shrink it down and you put it there. But I like this little guy right here. I think he's uh I think he's pretty neat. And I, I like just the simplicity of it and whatever. So um, I left space up here for endorsements, okay? So I have endorsements in the front cover of the book. By the way, right up here, I've got a video on what to put on your front cover, and then I'll put another one up there on what to put on your back cover. Just to make more sense of these, I'm gonna go in more depth in those videos. Um, and then I'll put one right here about endorsements. So just rapid fire, there'll be three videos that will pop up at the command of my, my finger here that will give you more info. I'll put them in the end screen as well. But I wanted to leave room up here for an endorsement that was kind of my hardest hitting endorsement, if you will. And if you're in this niche, then you would know Mark Batterson is a big deal. So I wanted to have him on the very front cover. Then his full quote is on the back cover, along with another heavy hitting endorsement. And then uh, I've got my copy right here, which is kind of selling the book, here's what it does. And as a nonfiction, this is a pretty good format to use where you have a kind of a summary paragraph, then you have bulleted benefits, and then kind of sum it up, and that's really it. Most people are gonna buy based on ratings and reviews anyway, so you don't have to spend a ton of time on the back cover. I wanna focus more visually on just the design. So these are literally just text, okay? So I went over here, I used Railway, and what you do is you just, click add a heading and it will drop something in there and you can put you can put anything i mean new title okay and then you can move it wherever you want you know and you can i could stick it right there and i could say um subscribe oh what what do you know <laughs> look at that subscribe let's put it in red uh just so that you get the clue all right see there Look at that, isn't that beautiful? Maybe maybe you should subscribe. I don't know if you're getting value out of this video. I don't know why you would be, but if you are, subscribe. So I hope you can see that's really the simplicity of this program is that it's drag and drop, the title, the words, I've got a little icon. So what I focus on is I've got big title, then the subtitle, then I like to do a little icon, then my name. That's it, endorsement at the top. You can decide what kind of template you want, but this is what I have for both of my books. The spine, okay, you just figure out where the exact middle of the page is. You take the exact same text box and you twist it. You twist it using this little doodad right here and it will twist it to where it can go vertical instead of horizontal. You wanna make sure that it's facing like that because when someone takes the book and they lay it down cover first, you want these words to go, you know, you want them to be facing the right way. And then, like I said, over here, all this is is text boxes and this is a little design that I got from Elements. And so you can put like dotted line and it will bring up, you know, a dotted line, right? And that's 
I think I use something like that or something else. Um, but that's really basically it. And then uh, author bio. If you're doing this through Kindle Direct Publishing, you wanna leave a lot of space right here for the ISBN right here. See, that's where that goes. Okay, so this is the second book. You can see it's very similar. Big block letters for the title. Subtitle right there, little ninja icon, which I think is really cool. Paid a hundred bucks for that big guy. By the way, on Canva, everything is free, except some things aren't free. And when they're not free, you have to buy them. Because I am selling this, I had to buy the big commercial license, but it wasn't much, it was like a hundred bucks. So just keep that in mind, keep it legal, keep it on the level. And yeah, so so that's this is everything the exact same. And that's the thing about having a template within Canva is every book you write, all of my books are, I, I, I kept the, well, these two, all of my books, the two books that I've written, and I'm gonna write more, but the two books that I've written have ended up being exactly the same amount of pages. I guess I have just a, I, have, I write books that I would read <laughs> and I don't like long drawn out books that just go on and on and on. So I like about a 200 page book. It just means that the covers end up being the same size. So I wanna show you how to export these now. So you go up here to download and then you want to go to PDF print, and then uh, you put in the page, which this is page seven, and I'm gonna hit download, and there it is. So that is the finished PDF that turned into this right here, and you can see that it's a book. I hope this helped. Again, links will be in the description. Definitely go to lanesebring.com slash five steps. Let me know in the comments what questions you have about book cover design. I would love to maybe do another tutorial or show you around Canva in a bunch of different ways. I do everything on Canva. It's really an amazing tool. So let me know what questions you have about it, and I'll see you in the next video.